Massachusetts Insurance License. If you are thinking of becoming an insurance agent in Massachusetts, start with market research. If you wonder how to print your Massachusetts insurance license, you should know that. You cannot print your Massachusetts insurance license. The state of Massachusetts doesn't offer online license printing. You can request your license duplicate. You will pay $25 to process your request. Download and fill in the required form. Mail to the Division of Insurance with the payment check. To verify an insurance agent in Massachusetts, use the MA Insurance License Lookup Tool. Agent Finder will help you find an independent agent or agency. So, with the help of an agent name, here you can make a Massachusetts insurance license search. If you know the license number, it will be easier for you to find what you need. You can obtain your Massachusetts insurance license in two steps. But, it would be better to follow our advice and get prepared to obtain your license in this way. Firstly, complete an insurance exam preparation course. The state of Massachusetts doesn't require pre-licensing education. However, it would be a smart move to complete it. It will help you to get prepared for the exam. Secondly, pass your Massachusetts licensing exam. The exam provider is ProMetric. To schedule the exam day, Create an account online. To pass the exam, you should receive a minimum of 70%. At the end of the exam, your exam score will be shown on the screen. You will also receive a printed exam score. Thirdly, apply for your background check. After that, apply for your Massachusetts insurance license. Documents to submit for the Massachusetts Insurance License The Application Form The Exam Score Criminal Record Certificate Payment Checks For a Life and Accident Insurance License, you will need to pay $225. For Property, Casualty, or Personal Lines, the fee is $300. You will need to renew your insurance license every three years. As requires the state of Massachusetts. You should complete 45 credit hours of continuing education. Three of these hours must be on the subject of ethics. It should be approved by AMA.